Geography, Coastal Processes Part 2. In this Part 2 video, we're going to be looking at the parts in pink. We've already looked at 1 to 3 and now we're going to be looking at three types of erosion, longshore drift, four processes of transportation and deposition. So erosion is when rocks are broken down and carried away by something, for example, seawater. There are three types of erosion that you need to know. Hydraulic power. This is when waves crash against rock and compress the air within the cracks. This then puts pressure on the rock and repeated compression widens the cracks, causing bits of rock to break off. Abrasion is when eroded particles in the water scrape and rub against the rock, removing small pieces of the seabed. And attrition is eroded particles in the water collide and break into smaller pieces and become more rounded. What is longshore drift? Longshore drift is basically the way water moves. There's a specific direction. So waves follow the direct direction of the prevailing wind. So the wind that's most strongest. They usually hit the coast at an angle. As you can see shown by the arrows of the swash. The swash carries material up the beach in the same direction as the waves. The back swash then carries the material down the beach at right angles back towards the sea. Over time, the material zigzags along the coast. Now this, being able to describe longshore drift is a very common exam question. So I definitely recommend you remember these five steps and even the diagram. So let's look at the four processes of transportation. And when I say transportation, it's the fact that things in the sea that the sea is carrying move in four different ways. So firstly, traction. These are large particles like boulders are pushed along the seabed by the force of water. So they're very slow and heavy. Then there's saltation, which is pebble sized particles, which bounce along the seabed by the force of water. Then we have suspension, which is smaller particles like silt and clay that are carried along in the water. And finally, solution, which is soluble materials that dissolve in the water and are then carried along. So you can remember this looking at in size order from largest to smallest. Now deposition happens when water carrying sediment loses energy and slows down. So material is let go. The rate of deposition is affected by firstly, the rate of erosion elsewhere, so material is available, and secondly, the amount of material transported into that area already. That is it for coastal processes. So for more videos on GCSE English, Geography and Religious Studies, make sure you subscribe to Know All for GCSE. Thank you for watching till the end and see you soon.